right, boys and girls, this is lesson two point one, equal theorem and equivalence, um, all about fractions. So, like we were reading in our book today, um, about fractions at the end of the day, to make sure that you're in good shape about that, we will be talking about fractions. I know that in third grade you did some work with fair shares, and we're just going to uh, extend that understanding for you as we go through the lesson today. So make sure you have your notebook dated. You have this as the lesson title. When you get that done, come on back. So the first question I have for you. Two brothers go to lunch and share three eight-inch pizzas equally. How much pizza does each brother get? Try and figure that out. Do a little work in your notebook. When you think you have an idea, come on back and check the next slide. So here's one way of solving this. I could give each of the two brothers, I, I'm sure you're very amused right now with my lovely drawing, um, but I could give, you can see there in yellow, I could give this brother, we'll call him Yellowhead, very creative um, name, um, we could give him the full pizza on the left and then half of the one in the middle, and I could give our redhead here, um, the full pizza on the right and half of the one in the middle. So each brother would get one and a half pizzas. Okay, so that's one way I could have solved that. I wonder if you did it that way. Or I could do it this way. I could take each of the pizzas and divide them in half and give each one of them half of each of the pizzas. So if I did that, you can see that, again, I used yellow. So yellow gets half of each of those, so he gets three halves, which I can write like this, three halves, or three halves is this fraction. The same thing would be true for the other brother with the purple um, diagonal lines there. He gets three halves, or three over two, three halves, as well. So each of them get that. Or um, I could do this. I could put each pizza into four pieces and give each brother two of the pieces of pizza from each pizza. So therefore they each get six parts or six pieces so six of those fourths, because each of the pizza has been divided into fourths, right? So each one gets six of the fourths, and that would be shown here. Six fourths each. So there was three different ways. You may have had yet another way, but those are the first three ways. Um, you're going to want to have taken notes on those and make sure that you understand them. So if I'm going a little too quickly for you, go back and listen to that again to make sure that you understand what I've said. So do one and a half, three halves, and six fourths all refer to the same whole? Yes, they do. The whole is one pizza. That should make sense to you, right? So when I say one and a half, it's one whole and half of another whole pizza. That's what the drawing, the first drawing was showing you. So if that's the case, do one and a half or three halves or six fourths all name the same amount of pizza? And how do you know that? Think about that. Try and write down what your thoughts are there. Hopefully you end up with yes. You know it's the same amount of pizza because the brothers are always sharing three pizzas equally. So they're always getting the same amount. No matter which of the ways I did it, I shared it equally, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you. So fractions naming the same amount are called equivalent fractions. You may have heard that word before. Make sure you have that written down for yourself. Give yourself the definition. Fractions that name the same amount are called equivalent fractions. So with that being said, are one and one half, three halves, and six fourths examples of equivalent fractions? And how do you know? Hopefully you can say, yes, these are equivalent fractions because they name the same amount. Each of the brothers got the same amount of pizza, no matter which of those three ways 
I tried to divide them. Therefore, the fractions are all equivalent fractions. Make sense? Hope so. Okay, so here's a number story for you to try. So six hikers share four pounds of trail mix equally. How many pounds of trail mix does each hiker get? Try and solve that in a very similar way to what I did with the pizzas and the brothers in your notebook. Once you think you have it one way, try another way. When you think you have that, come on back and take a look at the next slide. So six hikers are sharing the four pounds of trail mix, trail mix equally. How many do each get? Well, here's a couple possible strategies. So take a look at this one right here. Let's go ahead and pick green now. This one right here, okay? This is what I'm going to read to you right now. So um, you could divide each of the four pounds into equal parts. So you see the circles are each, meaning that the whole is a pound of trail mix. Each one of those circles represents one pound. So there are four of those because there were four pounds of trail mix. And then we've got the H1 through the H6 uh, because those are our six hikers, hiker one, hiker two, etc. So if I divide each of the four pounds into six equal parts, I can share the sixths so that each hiker gets one out of the six or one sixth of each of the four pounds. So four sixths, I can write that four sixths like that, or as a fraction, four sixths. Another way I could have solved it is below. So I could divide the pounds evenly so that each group of three hikers gets two pounds of trail mix. Then I can divide each of the two pounds into thirds so each hiker gets one third of each of the two pounds, which means they get two thirds or two thirds right, as a fraction. Either of those are correct. So then the question's over to the right here. Do the fractions, so I'm over here now, do the fractions four-sixths and two-thirds both refer to the same whole? Yeah, the whole is the one pound of trail mix. Okay, so we know that. So are four-sixths and two-thirds equivalent fractions? How do you know? Same as the previous problem, right? Yes, they are equivalent. The size of the parts of each pound that were, there, that were divided and the number of parts that each hiker got were different. But you notice the hikers still shared four pounds of trail mix equally. So whether I did it in sixth, sixths, that's really hard to say, or thirds, there's a, I'm naming the same amount, right? They got the same amount of trail mix either way I did it. They ended up with the same amount. So those would be equivalent fractions. Okay. Hope that. Hope you're with me. Let's try another one. Five friends share three yards of blue string equally to make bracelets. How much string does each friend get? So wrap your brain around that. Give it a try. Try and draw it out um, one or two ways. And then let's check to see if you get what I have. All right, so here's what I have. Possible strategies. Here we go, right here. Take a look at this one. So I could cut each yard into five equal parts, because I'm sharing each yard with five friends, right? Share the fifths so each friend gets one-fifth of each of the three yards. Three fifths, written as a fraction, is three fifths. So each friend gets three fifths of a yard. Okay, can you imagine that? So this would be friend number one. They get each of those ones, which means they get three. One, two, three. They get three of the fifths because those are all split into fifths, right? So I'm getting the bottom number of my fraction by how many um, parts that they're divided into 
and I'm giving him three of the fifths. And then on the bottom, another way I could have done it is I could have cut them into tenths, and I could share the tenths so that each of the friends gets two tenths of each of the three yards. So six one-tenths, written as a fraction, is six-tenths. Each camper gets six-tenths of a yard. So again, here's camper one, 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 one. Six of those out of tenths, right? So I'm back to that same question. Do the fractions three-fifths and six-tenths refer to the same whole? Well, yes, the whole is one yard of string. So are three-fifths and six-tenths equivalent fractions then? And how do you know? Again, yeah, they're equivalent. I know because even though the sizes of the parts of the string are different, the friends are still sharing three yards of string equally. So three-fifths and six-tenths are naming the same amount. That's what, that's what makes it so that I know they're equivalent. All right, you're going to try some more of this work in your math journal. So you have two pages. This one, which is, let me just make sure of the page number for you. This one, which is page 68 in your math journal. And the next one, oops. The next one, which is page 69 in your math journal, you're going to give these two pages a try. Um, if you have time, do the try this. And once you think you have those done, come on back and check your answers. That's what the next two slides are all about. There you go. There's some sample answers for you for each of those pages. So correct yours in red if you have something wrong so I'll know what I need to talk to you about. And make sure you're ready to ask me questions when you come to lesson tomorrow. Good work.